Hey y'all, welcome back. We're working on creating and manipulating files in the Unix unit. This lesson we're going to talk about creating and uh, creating files, creating directories. We're also going to talk about moving or renaming files and directories as well as making copies of files and directories in the CLI and lastly talking about how we might uh, delete a file or a directory and its contents using the CLI. So the first command that we're going to use is before I do anything, I just want to set myself up a little sandbox workspace where we can make some files, make some directories, and just play around a little bit in this command line without messing up anything. That's a part of my regular file system in my computer. So you can see here that I'm in my uh, home directory I'm gonna go ahead and make a move over to my desktop and then the first command that I'm going to use to make a new directory is actually called uh, mkdir and that is short for make directory so the directory that I'm gonna make on my desktop I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a simple name I'm gonna call it a sandbox just because we're gonna be playing around in it and then I'm gonna go ahead and change directories to that sandbox using the tab key for my autocomplete and I can see here if I run my ls command that it is empty. There's nothing in this directory. So I've made this directory. I've navigated to it. We did introduce the make directory command, but let's go ahead and make a few more directories inside of here and then we'll move on to making some files. So in here, I'm going to say, let's just say, um, I'm going to say I have a file to keep my code in and I'm gonna say that I'm gonna have a file to keep my documentation in, right? So now if I use ls, right, now I see these two directories that I've made inside of my directory. I see code, which is a directory I'm gonna to use to store some code files, and then I see documentation, which I'm gonna store some documentation files in. Go ahead and clear this up. Let's first go ahead and move into that code directory and to create a file, the command for this is called touch. And to use touch, you simply use touch and the same syntax as make directory, where you just give it the uh, command and then the name of the file you wanna create. And I'm gonna say, this is test, uh, we'll, we'll call it a, a Python file. And I'm gonna go ahead and say touch We'll, we'll make a couple of these just because we might change them around a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and make one more nested directory in here. And I'm just gonna call this one nested code, right? Um, it's not particularly important, but you know what? Before I do that, I'm gonna do that a little bit differently. I'm gonna go ahead and go back here and I'm gonna say, you know, I want to make this directory, but this time I'm gonna use a home directory file path, right? I'm gonna go home desktop, sandbox, and code, right? And then in here, now once I've got my uh, path worked out, right, I'm gonna use this, this nested code. So um, I've used this home directory. You can see it's a lot more verbose than it needs to be, but um, it will indeed work if I uh, change directory into my code and use ls. I see I have my two Python files that I created with the touch command as well as my nested code file. And let's go ahead and let's touch a file and we'll use the current, the relative file path and inside of nested code, let's go ahead and make a file called test.py there as well. So go like that. Now if I do cd, Right, I can use a file path here as well, right? Uh, relative, oops, I, I did CD, I wanted to do LS, but um, we can do it later, right? We see here that indeed that test.py did happen. So, so far we've got uh, MKDIR and touch. MKDIR, short for make directory. That's what we're gonna use to actually make a directory. And Touch is what we're going to use to make a file. Let's use that touch a couple more times. Let's go ahead and 
move back into the, the main part of the sandbox and let's move into that documentation folder. And let's just here, let's say um, touch, you know, a really popular file is gonna be a readme.markdown. Uh, and then let's say, let's say touch and let's just say documentation.txt, right? We're gonna have some text file, some plain text file that holds some documentation. And again, I can use that the ls command or uh, maybe I want to use my flag all right I've got uh, not system files but it actually lists uh, current directory and up one directory as options when you use lsa or if I use lsa and lsl right I can see that the current directory right is the dot and up one directory is dot dot and then I have these two files that have just recently been modified, the readme.markdown and the documentation.plaintext. So that are those are the two commands, make directory. And I'm gonna go ahead and get back to just our sandbox. Oop, looks like I went one too far there. Get back to the sandbox and Right, but we used our make directory, mkdir. We used touch to make a file. And that's gonna be it for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk over the move command, which we will use to both move and rename files or directories.